What is going on guys, Brandon Jay, and today we are gonna be diving my backyard pond to remove an alligator that quite honestly, I didn't even know I had. All right, so here's the deal. Myself, Hudson, and my cameraman, Travis, we all came out to the pond to do a pond fishing video. The fish are supposed to be bedding, so we're just gonna check in on that. However, as soon as we got down here, I walked down to the bank where I always fish and saw a freaking massive alligator. There's normally one in, that's in here that's like two or three foot, uh, but this one is giant, man. I'm saying he's pushing 10 to 12 foot. He's a big boy. All right, so Travis is on the long lens. He's way back. The alligator is right over there. <laughs> He's right down there. So the reason why this alligator needs to be removed is he is like not scared at all. He will just not move. He ain't moving boys. I don't really know why I'm this close. <laughs> also today's video is sponsored by Audible, which is really great because I might have to listen to a book on how to catch an alligator without getting bit. Hopefully there's one on there, I'll be able to search it, but we'll get into Audible a little bit later. Okay, extraction plan. Things don't always go according to plan, which is why I'm scared to plan, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna run to Home Depot, we're gonna make a pole uh loopy thing which i'll explain in a second i've got all my diving stuff just happen to have it in here as well as like my bow fishing got all this random stuff so i'm gonna dive to get the alligator because i have heard alligators will attack you on land but they will not attack you in the water so the goal is to go into the pond and get the alligator not by hands which is what i'm gonna say we're gonna go to home depot we're gonna get a pole okay this is a pole it's hollow whatever we're then gonna get a bundle of rope that's rope we are going to put the rope through it's gonna be double so we'll put the rope through there will be a loop okay if you pull the rope it will shrink the loop okay I am going to be swimming with this pole okay got my little flippers out to alligator that's actually kind of good alligator we're gonna loop it around his head Hudson is gonna be on the bank holding the rope and pulling the rope. That's an arrow. He's he's gonna, I'm gonna loop the gator and uh, Hudson is going to then have the strength to pull it. I will have to swim this way, okay? I'm gonna have to swim this way and or this way because the alligator is coming that way. So that's kind of the plan <laughs> there, there is one more thing okay so i'm gonna draw the pond here okay uh we got weeds here weeds here big fountain right alligator has been spotted here and here okay this is where we stand whatever which is not good because he can run out and get us pretty easily so we are going to have to scare the alligator to the middle i want all this to happen in about nine foot of water so i can dive down that makes perfect sense i'm saying i like that it, is, it does kind of make sense so i don't want to get caught where he can like turn and get me i want to be able to be in like a whole different dimension than this thing mr alligator wrapped up and transported to a different pond now you might be asking yourself brandon everything with alligators in florida is illegal which i would then tell you you are absolutely right however there is a small loophole which is kind of a pun because we're going to loop the alligator it's kind of a small loophole you cannot catch an alligator with rod and reel without a permit yep. you cannot trap an alligator with rod and reel without a or with a trap without a permit yep. there is nothing about a uh rope loop situation and transportation that i know of and if I'm wrong, then I'll probably just go to prison. We could run a rope through there. I'm thinking this pipe right here is long enough that technically if Hudson fails, I will still be able to pull. But it will keep, go down there to the end. It will keep the gator at distance. It'll social distance, I guess. Yeah, if, if I'm locked down on it, Hudson's the gator. And I'm just got to hold on, but I'll be in the water, which will be difficult. I kind of like this one. That's the only one like that, too. Yeah. What's the braking strength on that guy? What do you think Brandon's doing over there? Dude, I don't know. He's got his headphones in and he's looking real intense at that gator right now. I hope he's on Audible listening to an audiobook about how to catch an alligator for dummies. Audible has thousands of titles on any topic genre you can think of, including how to catch an alligator, which I'm going to need today. However, I'm currently listening to a motivational podcast to uh, motivate me here in a second to 
grab this alligator by the face. Whether you're looking to be entertained, inspired, or informed, Audible has a listen for every moment and mood, which is why I chose the Gary V podcast to, you know, just kind of get myself hyped up, motivated a little bit, because you guys know I'm scared to do this. You're telling me that instead of flipping pages all day, I can listen to an audiobook on Audible while I'm working out or helping you catch alligators? Yeah, pretty much. You can do anything. You can drive, you can work out, you can go do your mom's dishes, you can do your dishes. You can do anything because you're going to be hands-free. You're not going to be stuck flipping pages Dude, all that's day. that's so convenient. I know. And matter of fact, Audible has a brand new thing that they are offering their memberships, which is the brand new Plus Catalog. The Plus Catalog is absolutely insane. It comes with thousands of select audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, guided fitness and meditation programs, sleep tracks for better rest, and more, all included with the membership, which, by the way, is like that many different things. It's a ton. It's a lot. <laughs> you can start exploring Audible with a free 30-day trial starting now. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash jiggin or text jiggin to 500-500 to start your free 30-day trial. Again, that's audible.com slash jiggin or text jiggin to 500-500. Thank you, Audible, so much for sponsoring today's video. Now that I'm officially motivated, let's go catch that alligator. Officially time, if I can figure out where this rope starts. Oh, boy. Just come with direction. There it goes. Perfect. You got it? So now we're gonna have to pull enough. We have enough. So here's the deal. Um, basically, Hudson is gonna be on the edge of the pond having this side. These are the ropes that go way back there, probably like 30, 40 foot. Hudson has the alligator loop. I'm gonna be swimming through the water like this. Hudson, put the loop around your waist. The idea is to get the loop around the alligator, drop the pipe, and have Hudson pull, and it will go like this. Now the alligator is stuck, but if he comes off the pipe, then we're I screwed. Can't, I can't get you. Yeah, you that's what control. I'm saying. This, this, is, this is where I was going with this. But if anything happens, it could be really bad, which is where I'm gonna dive down. Good news is, I see the alligator, but he, we're, we got a side profile. He's a little bit more in the middle, not as deep as I want. Bad news is, we were planning to go from over here and I did a quick clarity check of the water, make sure I can like see what I'm going into because like this is actually dangerous. And you can see, but as soon as you touch anything, it stirs it up. And when you get into the duckweed, which is everywhere, it's uh, you have to like swim on top. So I'm really nervous about that. To be quite honest, he looks way bigger. Like I was saying like 10, 12 foot for the camera. I thought he was more like six or seven, which like a little bit more manageable. But that is a big, big gator. So we got to be really careful now as if we didn't have to be careful before, but um, we're gonna go in from this side because we only have so much rope. And if we're out of rope, then and like- You're in no man's land, dude, you're by yourself. Yeah, I'm by myself, which means I have to pull the rope and push the pipe. Uh, and I have no idea like how strong this alligator is gonna be like thrash wise. So we're gonna see. When I put this thing over this thing, you I have to pull and take fast, it with me, dude. I got very you. fast. I got you. Hey, hold on to that loop so it doesn't pull out while you're swimming away from me. Uh, I just swim like this. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. Hey, B. We're running out of rope back here, my dude. You gotta get him to me. Ah, okay. That's all you got. I am too close to him right now for this. Hudson, you're gonna have to let go. Here, I can't take my eyes off of him. You gotta let go. Dude, if I let go, I can't help. I know, I know. I'm Hudson, let go. Dude, you're on your own. Oh my god. Where'd he go? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Oh, he freaking went under. <laughs> oh God. All right, Brandon's gonna enter from the other side of the pond, but he's moved this way. The gator's moved this way. So he's gonna try to creep in from around behind and sneak up on him. Oh my God. So I'm just going to grab onto him because we're in the shallows here. Move, start to move. Loop and B. You got, out. You got, got him. Out. Dude, he freaking cut my hand so bad. Just go! <laughs> I got you guys! Oh, to all my viewers, you just got punked, baby! It's been a fake alligator this whole time. <laughs> and <laughs> we filmed this video for two days. You guys, first of all, I'm sorry for pranking you, but I had to. Let me explain. I got this fake alligator head in the mail like months ago. And if you follow me and my friends, you know me and Jake, the Almighty, we scuba dove and popped this up at like rafters and stuff. It blew up on YouTube. And ever since then, we've been like, how do we get like the next fun alligator prank? Like who do we prank? Where do we go? And I was like, you know what would be so fun? What if we like pranked the viewers? That's like something I've never done before. And it's kind of hard to pull off, right? So I was like, what if we prank my uh, viewers and say we're gonna get an alligator out of the pond which by the way when i was saying the rules about like you can there was a loophole and all that stuff that was all like lies like all this has been lies the entire time but i just wanted to pull a big prank on you guys <laughs> i hope you're not too upset with me let me know in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed the prank if it was a good one um <laughs> i know uh, i'm not even gonna lie swimming up to this thing in the water was like uh, super terrifying. I had my good buddy Hudson. He helped me. He was uh, my my uh, guide, pointing me in the right directions. He was also holding the fishing reel, uh, which like pulled the gator through the water. I had Travis getting all the angles, which was like his job was to not get Hudson in the shot. And uh, yeah, so I think it worked out pretty flawlessly. Um, I hope none of you guys like skipped ahead, uh, but I know that there's gonna be a ton of like comments about that's illegal, can't do that, and then they're all gonna see it's a prank. <laughs> I'm so excited for that part. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the prank. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I do owe you like uh, an apology. <laughs> I feel like I owe you an apology. I owe you some cool content. So um, my bass are betting. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive in the pond and show you the betting bass. If you can see, I really don't know the clarity because honestly, the pond is pretty covered in duckweed. Um, <laughs> oh man, that is so funny. But I really, I guess my end goal that I should tell you guys is I wanted to do the alligator prank because one, I wanted to prank you guys. I thought it'd be funny, but I also wanted to get your uh, opinion. You guys are uh, fueling the content on the channel constantly. You're constantly giving me new ideas, better ways to do things. And I'm always listening to the comment section, but this is where I need your help. I want to know where we go with this alligator head. What do we do? Um, how do we do it? I need your help because it's really challenging to think of like exciting ways to do the alligator prank and uh, ways to get like loads of people. So let me know the comments in the comment section below of what you guys want. But I'm paying homage to my boy D Almighty. Uh, I did do the alligator prank with him uh, first. So this is all like his uh, planting the seed in my head to do something funny here at the pond with you guys. <laughs> but... All right guys, well that is going to wrap it up for today's video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I kind of feel bad, but I also hope uh, you guys got like a laugh out of it or uh, anything. If you guys have known me uh, for a long time, you know that I would be way too afraid in real life to do something like this. Uh, but if you guys are new, which most of you guys are, I looked at my analytics the other day, over 80% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you enjoy the stuff I do here on this channel, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you join the jigging family i don't know i don't really have a name for you guys <laughs> so leave that in the comment section below what i should name you guys i feel like jigging family is kind of like a little mm. jig squad yeah. jig squad i kind of like jig squad 
All right, with that being said, um, Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring today's video. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to check out Audible, which I personally do recommend, I actually do have a membership with them. You can go to audible.com slash jiggin, or you can text jiggin to 500-500. Uh, that's all going to be linked in the description below as well. So, Audible, thank you for sponsoring today's video. And uh, everyone, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure where who knows what we're going to get in or out of the pond next. All right, peace out, guys. You and I till the end.